Well, he needed to say, yeah, I don't have a glove. I said, well, I got a plan. I'll go see if they have any over there. Sure enough. Yeah, I saw one. Uh, there was two little. Then we got a nice uh, Rawlings from uh, Tom Slack. I went for 10 bucks. And I went, yeah. <laughs> Nancy bought a bread maker for like 20 bucks. It was brand new. Yeah. So that was great. Was I awesome. bought Jack Stands. Good. Uh, Crosby picture for Kevin. What else did I get? Oh, a few other things. Some little cards that he said were really cool, but I think I overpaid. <laughs> Oh, or Pico Chi or uh, yeah, 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 those things. He says, oh yeah, that one's got power. Yeah, whatever card, okay, just give the kid five bucks. Okay, we should. Be <laughs> We're good. Well, we're paying for five bucks. <laughs> yeah, we had a good deal on other stuff. That was good. That's some duck ticket. <laughs> some oh yeah, me too. <laughs> for, yeah. Uh, Okay, Rusty, we are good to go. We're good to go. I just want to we need, uh, double check that we have audio. Okay, we should be good. Hello, good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out to our Reaching Marge business was meeting. supposed to be here, and I did remind her it was six o'clock and not seven. Uh, seven. So, okay. I heard oh, you. yeah. We got just guessed second by Steve that the recreation. Fitness committee meeting be opened at six o'clock. All in favor? Carried. You can just pass it along. by Lise, by Jason, that the minutes of the Recreation Fitness Committee held May 2nd, 2022, be adopted as circulated. I guess there's any issues with the minutes? Yep. All in favor? Carried. If you want to just give me a minute, Rusty, I'm just going to double check. Sure. Last time we didn't have audio. <laughs> We're three business arising from minutes. No, oh. just... no. you're techie. <laughs> no. No. You, no. Seem I mean, you, just, more you just need to close on the upper left now. Up here? Yeah. There you go. Uh, and I don't know that she's actually in, but hopefully. That would be able to see it in my class time. No. Well, that's what I want to make sure. Oh. There you go. Just hit admit right from there. There we go. Give her a minute. And Tara said her clients really enjoyed the show. I knew quite a few of them. Oh, cool. Um, It's got a cool place. It's the first time I've been in it. Yeah. 
bit of a maze kind of all over the place. It's a lot it's, bigger than it looks. It's changed. It's, it's, it's this year, actually. Yeah. She's trying to kill me. Trying to get me to do spin classes at 6 a.m. <laughs> okay, Rusty, we'll continue and see. Um. <laughs> yep. All right. Where were we? Uh, business, business number three. Number three, business arising from the minutes. So nothing. We don't have anything from that. No. no. Okay. No. Public presentations number four. No. No, nothing. Number five reports waterfront development update. Um, the um, I haven't spoken to Anne today. Uh, we haven't received a delivery date uh, as of yet. Okay. Um, so uh, no idea if it would be in before Canada Day or after. Uh, the doc, government doc, um, he was out there over the weekend. There may be an issue with some peers or whatever that uh, they're going to have to look into. So I know Anne was going to meet with them. And uh, then she's going to be working on um, the parking um, at the corner of Railway or Mark Street and Church. Okay. Uh, that's going to be the next step is to get some quotes and do the landscaping uh, and finish off that parking lot. So um, that's what we'll be working on in the next couple of weeks. So that's all so I that's have. That's about it. Yeah, okay. that's all I have for tonight. She may have more at uh, next council meeting, but uh, I didn't have anything from her today. Okay, all right, thanks. Number six, new business, 6.1, animals in the park. Um, I, uh, there was a report included in your agenda. Yeah. I spoke to Andrew. Yeah, I read. Uh... Yeah, so um, the only thing we can do is, um, and what we had suggested at the last meeting is to post notices at this entrance and uh, towards the Lions uh, Bridge, just advising everybody that there's going to be uh, yeah. reptiles in, in that section. In that section. And uh, then we won't have to have uh, people who are afraid will know that uh, they're there. So that's all we can do um, besides, you know, pre preparing a whole new bylaw and uh, that would take time. It wouldn't be ready before Canada Day. <clears throat> well, there's no bylaw prohibiting it at this point to have reptiles in the park, right? No, it's just no the by bylaw dogs. only states to dogs yeah. um, and it's only where there is signage and that is only for this park and not none of the other parks. Perfect. So. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a need to bylaw anyway. I mean, I don't. And the programs are really an educational program. Yes, it is. On exotic animals. Yes. So it yeah, I think how many complaints did we have just yeah. in? In yes. my opinion, it doesn't even fall into the a bylaw with uh, animals because no. it's an educational program. Mm -hmm. Okay. Six point two. Business promotion. Yeah, I was, uh, um, whenever I go on Facebook, I see people asking, does anybody know who does this or who does that in, in our area? So I was thinking if, and I know it's not part of Park and Rec, but if we can have an event where, uh, like a trade show, so that we can invite all the businesses within Bonfield Rather Glen especially those who have home-based businesses so that we can start either and we already have a directory right Andre yes we do on the businesses and maybe it would be good to have them have the trade show either uh, in the fall at the hall and um, have them all come and uh, you know uh, showcase the, yeah the, mm -hmm. the businesses that we have in Bonfield and Rutherglen um, because I don't even know three no. quarters of them, you know. Yeah, there's know a that. lot of people that have run their business out from home. Yeah, and yeah. We, we... And, and a lot of us <clears> don't <throat> know. Uh, what we can always do as well is the township sends uh, a welcome package yeah. whenever. Sorry, I have my back to you. Okay. <laughs> um, send out a welcome package every time there's a, a property changes ownership. So we could um, 
you know, promote advertising in there as well. If the business is like just a business card or, mm-hmm. um, um, you know, we do have a business directory and it would, uh, that it, could yeah. be updated as well regularly. And it would be really good for the, the, the newcomers to our township to know the businesses that we have within our area because uh, I don't even know them. No. You know, I have to ask the girls, okay, who does this around mm-hmm. here? Does it, yeah. So Definitely I think it, it would be um, advantageous for the new and the ones that are here that are, there's new businesses opening up all the time within their homes. And just at the barbecue this weekend, there was um, two or three that are home base. And I didn't even know they were here. No, you get that all the time. Like somebody selling Avon or Tupperware or um, there's the other products, the essential oils that was there this yeah. weekend. So even um, uh, the two uh, uh, farmers. Yep. Well, the, the produce, mm-hmm. you know, there's uh, Green Gables mm-hmm. and there's uh, Presse. They're new yes. to our area. So it would be good that we would be able to showcase um, what they're offering for the people in Bonfield and Rutherglen. Mm-hmm. So maybe that's something that we can think about. E- economic development is part of <laughs> Sabrina's uh, mm-hmm. job title or department. Okay. So I could bring Sabrina on board and uh, we could work with her to, like you say, either do a trade show or um, uh, work on the welcome packages and see how we could bring all this together for mm-hmm. the ball. Yeah, because I, I was looking at that too. Of <clears throat> business promotion, but I said we could probably definitely work together for sure i mean that'd be great yeah so sabrina does economic development as part of her Her planning uh, yeah the director and there's nothing that stops our group from working with their group to be able to promote things like this right (laughs) right. yeah so So i'll I'll, uh, speak to sabrina and uh then we can start planning for something for the fall yeah where's the directory kept is it on our website it, there, uh, I don't know if it's been changed over to the new website. It was on the old one. Uh, there should be on their community profile. Um, but it's also a matter of um, business owners to advise the township they have that oh, business. Because a lot of them, like Lee said, are home-based. Yeah, so we, don't. we don't know, right? Mm-hmm. And a lot of them have either retired or they've left the region. Yeah. And we don't know as well. So we don't... Uh, a good example of that is we have a dog groomer here in, in Bonfield. And mm-hmm. I didn't even know I would go all the way to North Bay oh, bring yeah. my dog. Mm-hmm. And okay. she's been here for how long? And I Over didn't even five know. five years. Oh, yeah, really? Yeah. Oh. So there's a good example. I, I had no clue. Mm-hmm. So that's where my dog's going now. But I think we, it's something that is really needed so that we can really promote the... Uh, the businesses that we have here and um, help them out for sure put something in our next newsletter as well that uh, if you do have a home-based business or um, you know and that's a way of all these businesses getting to know each other Mm -hmm. you know it's not to say they're all going to come but the ones that do come can benefit from each other's businesses right right. yep it's visibility yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I'll work with Sabrina and then I'll have something for our next meeting. And uh, good. Can work for something mm-hmm. in the fall. Sounds great. Number three, paddle boats. Steve. Did, um, did Brian and you have a conversation regarding the paddle boats? No, Brian's not in today. Okay. Um, but as soon as he's back, then I'll I'll discuss it with Brian. Okay. And um, I, I think we'll have to contact the insurance as well to see uh, how we can get this program moving, especially with the waterfront development. That would be a great addition. And uh, I'm not sure if there's, do you know of any other townships that may have that yeah, or how? So, so the issue before, like um, it was Peter, I believe at the point in time, right? Um, was just insurance and liability. But like we rent kayaks out to people all the time. So we're insured, uh, like Reptile Camp is insured. Um, and then like I've gone to a lot of parks where they just have kayaks sitting for people, like even provincial parks, right? Just to jump in and um, go, yeah. Yeah, just go home and go and take them out and bring them back. So just trying to 
work around it so that it satisfies the, the township just so that we can actually get it out and, and use it whether it's my insurance or yours or a bit of both or where would you uh, just have a moat here or, what's we, the, or i bought a paddle boat. so we had a paddle boat here about yeah three years ago yeah. Yeah. We, and we just left it at the beach and we just had a sign saying you know is at your own risk you know a couple of rules and people were complaining because kids were out on it without life jackets but they're just out in the pond here they're on the dock without life jackets. They're swimming without life jackets. Um, so just trying to figure out a, a liability standard. It was out there for about six weeks, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then the mm -hmm. issue of liability came up. Came so up, so yeah. we pulled it, and it's been locked up. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay, so I'll uh, speak yeah. to Brian this week, and uh, then contact the insurance and see how we can uh, make this work for yeah. everybody. Like waivers would be tough because not everybody like you're not open here all the time mm -hmm. so it'd be tough to do waivers but we got to be able to just do some sort of sign saying you know, you're using it at your own risk here are the rules that we expect you to follow if you're outside of those rules and you're outside of the legalities of using it right okay i'll do some research and did you guys have like an age limit on it or we didn't. Excuse me. I'm just wondering if that's say so, okay, you gotta be with yeah, you know, or I think like you could just if you held up a put up a sign saying, you know, parents supervise your kids, make sure you're wearing life jackets and only during daylight hour or something to that effect. You know, we have a dock out there, kids go swimming out there all the time. Yeah, we're yeah, not, yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand. I just we're not policing that either. Um, you're not gonna flip this thing. It's it's pretty heavy yeah yeah they are it's not super deep it's you know i yeah. wonder if it uh if it, there would be some sort of compromise like if we needed to do a waiver um you can almost get one of those real estate lock boxes and put a key in there and i don't know how many times the key would go missing but you know anybody who signs the waiver could get the combination for that lock little key lock box and then it's you know you can grab the key and unlock it and right. that at least then we have some control of who's using it and whether they have to sign whatever waiver and stuff. So there might be a way around because that wouldn't uh, necessitate somebody being there all the time, but right. mm -hmm. you know, we'd have a file with a bunch of waivers in it at least. So Yeah, yeah we can see what kind of uh, program, not programming, but um, how we can do it so that it's- Yeah, like, just like to get it back out there. People yeah. are enjoying it when we had it mm -hmm. yeah. for the- for the brief little while that we had. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do some research uh, this week if I have some time. Appreciate that. Great. Seven, unfinished business, 7.1, Canada Day. Uh, so the next three weeks are going to be really, really busy. Um, we'll have to, um, I've got the staff that's going to start working. Uh, we do have uh, some activities uh, Steve has the axe throw reptile camp. You have the volleyball. No. Or, um, or, sorry, the horseshoe. horseshoe. And uh, that's one thing I wanted to bring. The um, money machine, we were mm -hmm. going to do it at five, but it's the duck race. Okay. So um, what time would you, should we do it? After the duck race? We can do it after the duck race. Okay. So that people would stay here because at seven o'clock we have the magic show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. We have a magic show at seven. Uh, just something for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so we could yeah. do the mon money machine six. Yeah. Yeah. Then people would stay around. Cool. Um, the yeah. uh, food bank, family life center are doing the canteen and they're going to stay open till eight or nine. Can't remember exactly what the uh, library is going to be doing um, story walk that they did last year. Yep. So they're gonna. Uh, so it's uh, basically they take a book in um, page by page and they put it through, and then you walk from page to page to to read your story. So they're gonna have that. Um, <clears throat> they did that last year and apparently it went really well. 
during our uh, reptile or summer the, camp. The summer. Yeah. So they're going to do it on Canada Day just to give something else to the kids. The lions have yeah. their tent. Yeah. And um, with some kids' games. Yeah, they're going to have about eight, eight games. Yeah. And prizes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try to set up, I don't know what it's called, maybe, maybe you would know, but uh, with cornstarch and um, colored water or whatever. Like a volcano or? Well, you just kind of. Slime? Yeah, kind of <laughs> slime or whatever. And then you just, uh, but apparently it's cool and kids love it. So. Yep. <laughs> Good. Anything messy. Yeah. yeah anything <laughs> messy. <laughs> Um, so everything's going to be happening in the next two, three weeks. Uh, we'll be busy. Yeah. Have the barbecue and, uh, fast. yes, it is. Okay. Um, Rusty, I might have, I might have committed to the uh, lions that if you and I are around, we'll help run the death race. I'm like, that yeah, guy yeah. loves the death race more than anybody I know. So I'm sure if he can be helpful, no we'll, 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 <laughs> yeah. we'll help. Yeah. <laughs> We'll yeah, be yeah. chasing ducks down the river. I think it's like that. <laughs> well, uh, it's basically, they, they get a mesh down there. Yeah, down there. we yeah. have a big net. Yeah. So it's one or two strong guys to just hold the net. And then somebody actually in the water throw, you know, grabbing the ducks. Grabbing as, the duck. uh, yeah. But uh, so just depending make sure on you... what, how high the water is, too. Like this year, the water is pretty high. So so far, yeah. Might yeah. Be fast duck race? It might be. Yeah. So my ducks might come in. Close. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're doing good. Cool. Avery will volunteer for the kids' games. Hmm? Avery will volunteer for the kids' games. She'll help run it. Nice. Well, that's good. Yeah. I'll let uh, Margo know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. 7.2. Bonfield Summer Camp. Names are coming in. Um, I think we're actually, we stopped at 30. Right now? Uh, well, because we have to see how much. Right now we have 30 names. Oh yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Big but, softy over there is wanting to go how high. <laughs> <Plus, laughs> two more staff. Lost. Nice. lost. Oh, you lost. Oh, you lost. But you got oh no. Just surprise the gas, right? You know, when oh, I drive yeah. back and forth from North Bay. Oh, I had two that were like super excited that contact me and they're like, I'm just gonna get another job in North Bay. Oh. So I wanted five. And it's for one week? Well, I'm hiring for the whole summer, but this is for one week, yeah. Yeah. So I am I wanted five. So, so far I've hired nine. Oh, my God. And currently I have three. Wow. Oh, wow. But I think it'll be easy to get people for this one week, too. Like, I think I got a couple of people from Hamilton. Yeah. That will work for, like, per diem or whatever. We can well, see if... School, high school hours, or something like that. Get volunteers, mm -hmm. put the word out, and see. It's only for one week. Yeah. Um, well, we it, kept it low, and we told people that we, you know, because um, realistically, if we just opened it all up and we we're only doing one week, we would get probably ninety kids. Mm -hmm. Oh god, yeah. So, yeah, the word's out there now. But we need, we need to make sure and we have enough. As soon as you advertise that registration is open you're full like yeah our camp's full too it's been full yeah. for mm -hmm. two months now really yeah. yeah so okay so we'll keep the numbers and uh, see what happens closer we get to it yeah i keep keep trying to get people yeah and that's in what's your dates for that august 15th august. to the 19th yeah Seven point three twenty twenty two programming. So there's still um, part of uh, seven point four was movie in the park where I think Lisa's still with us, um, and then we're going to start planning activities for the uh, fall, and then move from there. I'm looking at you because I need your help on this one. Yep. <laughs> okay. New Year's dance. Um, New Year's dance um renee's going to do the halloween um yes so um and then santa claus parade with the uh mm -hmm. soup and chili tasting mm. um and then uh steve was talking about a games night or something for the winter oh like if we school? can get to school again yeah yeah, yeah. yeah hopefully um, by then we can figure out like a staffing position as well 
Um, I'm at the school already every day currently doing gym class. Here? I got hooked into that. Here? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, so, so yeah. either games night or um, uh, like they used to have at the hall. You guys wouldn't be here, but you would remember they used to have at the hall uh, movie night and games night. So one week was mm-hmm. like games and then the next week was movie um so we could do something like that throughout the winter as well just to give people do something to do. Something yeah just kids, something yeah. to do um, yeah and did we figure out allocating uh some of the summer staff hours for our craft night once a week were we looking at that we discussed it um but right now i don't have i have one person who applied for the summer job how many positions do you Two. have Well, yeah, it's tough, eh? Yeah, so um, that's a full time <clears throat> gig, too, isn't it? Isn't, like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's a dream job for most kids, and that's just shows. That's what I did, I think. I think I got out of the Egger Dome at one point, a, a summer student or something. Yeah, yeah, I did at the Yeah, mm-hmm. a couple of years, actually. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing, uh, 44 hours a week, 10 weeks, 18 And, and like an we hour. say student, it doesn't have to no, be a student anymore. No, I just was, yeah. Yeah, like the, it used to be oh, years God. ago, it was somebody who was in school, but now it's anybody age 15 to 30. Yeah. That just wants to work for the summer. Like it doesn't have to be a student. Yeah, yeah. So like it it, it opened up the door uh, for more, but for more people. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, that's uh, yeah, I think I was like 15. <laughs> yeah, like we've had one applicant so, you guys so are far. Looking for how many? I could take three more. Three more at, for 10 weeks? Yeah. At 18 bucks an hour. And you can't get bucks an hour. Oh, that's true. Rusty work. might take time off work. work. Yeah, go <laughs> after that. Take stress leave. Yeah, yeah. Should do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the animals are, in the morning and go to the beach. Yeah. There's a lot of nurses leaving. Oh, she <laughs> is it, are you on mute down there? Well, she is. Yeah, I just oh, the there she is. Yeah. I just unmuted. Okay. Uh-huh. Can you hear us okay? Across the road. I just got back home at 5 6. So I uh, didn't have time to change to get over there in time. So I just put on, on the computer. Okay, uh, that's good. But you can, you can hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, great. Did you want to uh, go on the video or no? It doesn't matter. It doesn't okay, matter. it's up to you. I've been living in a field for the last two weeks, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So somebody had brought up movie in the park, and you and I had a discussion. So I will give you. Uh, the floor, and you can tell the recreation and committee, uh, recreation committee, uh, what you have to offer to us and what we can okay. do. Okay. Okay. At the, at the park, at Bonfield Event Park, we have on the stage a, a large pull-down screen, and we have a projector, and we have speakers. But what we also have is an FM transmitter, so. My thought was like if uh, people still wanted to sit in their vehicles or something like that, that they'd still be able to hear. Um, we have uh, picnic tables in that area for people to sit on. Um, I have acquired a couple of popcorn machines that um, we can give out some popcorn. Um, I, I, it's, it's a fairly large area. Um, I know with the fire department regulations, it's uh, for 300 people. So uh, we've got a large space there. That doesn't include, that's just in the fenced area. That doesn't include where where the vehicle parking would be, of course. And you did mention that you would uh, be able to open up the canteen as well? Yes, yes, we have a, we have a canteen there. Um, We also have, Washroom facilities there. Um, I don't. I don't. I, we have a lot. We have a lot of stuff. So I, yeah. I, we have garbage. We have garbage barrels there. We have all the like everything. 
we really wouldn't need anything else oh, other than God. what is there. I guess. Do we have a, Do we have a date set? No, no, we were discussing. I want to go now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds great. Yeah, and what I do have you... uh, an agreement with um, SOCAN regarding the playing of movies and such like. I just have to submit a certain, and it de depends upon what movie is decided on, which I don't want to decide because I'm old and uncool for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the what the cool stuff is. My daughter's twenty two. Like a, a family. So, well, we got to have a little bit of help with that. But what I'm saying <laughs> is that the amount that has to be paid to SOCAN varies upon the the movie. So uh, no. and I know when I used to take my daughter to the drive-in, uh, the first movie was like a kids' movie or a family movie, and then. You know, if you played one after that, uh, it would be for the adults or whatever, because Sarah used to always be asleep on the back seat by then. So mm -hmm. yep. I mean, that's an option too. Mm -hmm. I'm just just saying it's it's uh yeah, that'd be nice. That would be great. And and what is the cost for all this? Well, nothing. It doesn't cost me anything. I mean there'd be the SOCAN fee, but that's variable. That's, it could be anywhere between twenty dollars and a hundred dollars for the licensing fee for the movies. Okay. Well that's something that we can does share the cost. The property is already insured with liability because we are in a liability world. Um yeah, no next and question. uh so <laughs> that is that is already looked after. Um I can show proof of insurance for that. I can even get a rider put on my insurance for the township if that's something I know everywhere I go and everything that I do that's not on my own property, I have to show that I have named that other property owner as um, even down at, at Burles when I do the automotive flea markets, I have to list uh, the township on my insurance as well. So um, insurance is okay. yeah, that would be anymore, so great. And you know, like if if we have the one in in the fall or August or whenever, this is probably something that we can do. Apart from her events that she does, yes, have true. a movie night maybe once a month. You yeah, know, I, um, I was thinking, I was listening to, um, and I love your idea of the, the small businesses. Um, I was really active in, in the Ormondani Chamber of Commerce, and you're so right. There's so many people now. Um, that have small at home businesses and I didn't know there was a dog groomer I still drive down Bell to get my dog room because I couldn't get a groomer in North Bay <laughs> so uh, I, you know it's it's um, it's time for them to, to, to tote themselves in, in what they do and even with the, the movie night even if we were to open up a little bit earlier in the afternoon and I don't know there's a bunch of grass area there if we did something for the kids I uh, with Ooh, with something yeah. and, and have an opportunity for the small businesses to put a pop up and or if even if we did like a grab bag and they could put in a business card and we could give them out to people, um, we could do a whole Her bunch of different of, things. Yeah, yeah. Have, we, we have yeah, Lisa, Lisa, you just gave us a great idea. Your place would be the perfect place because you have so much property yeah. for the business to come and show their their. Because um, right. I was thinking the hall, but. There is so many here and there is so much for us that we don't know about. And at your place, Lisa, would be great to have that uh, business, uh, the business trade show. Mm, yeah, I don't want to take anything away from the hall or anything else. No, that, no, you know, no, the community no. Is used to. That's not what I'm, that's not what I'm trying no, no. to do. But I do think that, um, you know, every little thing that we do that uh, to give a small business the opportunity yeah. to showcase themselves is is fantastic yeah and and even if we don't do the trade show there it's like you said just before the movie you have activities and you have uh, a few vendors there with their stuff and give grab bags just like you said that would be great yeah. any business that has a, a business card that wants to go in the in the little bag or whatever we decide or you guys decide to give out um, even farmers market. 
it would it would be really good opportunity. Yeah. That's great. Have a combination mm. of both um, mm -hmm. trade show movie night and invite we'll start all the earlier, businesses. yeah. And yeah, then, start uh, earlier and uh, and like Lisa said, have grab or um, grab, bags. grab bags to hand out to everybody as they're coming in with all the businesses that are there and their promotions. Yeah, I think in order to make this happen, like Lisa has a pretty Heavy pretty full schedule, schedule yeah. already. <laughs> on, I'm looking at it, which is awesome. I I think we just gotta kind of automatically agree on a date and then we can kind of push towards it yeah if we leave it to the next what is meeting. a good date for lisa yeah what and works I, for you lisa for a date huh? i used to have a good memory and then i got a smartphone it made me <laughs> <laughs> Well, she can get back and see, like, okay, pick a date. Anytime, and, or, uh, or the August the 13th the, or the 20th is the best. Uh, the 13th or the 20th. That, those are Saturdays, but there's nothing to say we don't do it on a Friday night or a Sunday or whatever. I think I mean, sometimes Sundays, you'd be good. surprised. Sundays are, are kind of a good day in the summer because mm -hmm. lots of times there's family picnics and there's weddings and there's you know, commitments to other things on Saturdays. I know not an awful lot of people have an awful lot of Saturdays left in the summer. So sometimes it's better to go to the Sunday. Uh, you might get the, the family up because kids have sports and they have different things too. So I don't know. I'm and August 20th is the fall fair. So we can't do oh, it yeah. that weekend. Okay. That's right. Yeah. Did we want to do August or I think you have September 17th open that weekend? Yeah, I do. Would we like to do something like after the kids get back to school? Does yeah, do we want to go that home? late though? Because it yeah, starts getting, getting cold, cold right? Yeah. And it, I mean, it's one thing if it's only driving, but I kind of picture having a hybrid of like, you know, there's a mm -hmm. kind of feel up front where people don't want to sit in their car. They can be, and then cars yeah. can be kind of further back, right? So we do one August? 13th. August 13th. August 13th. That's coming up. Mm. You're okay with the 20th, but all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> that's a, a little bit earlier. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> just pushed you over the edge. Yeah, yeah. Well, we Canada day, well. Seven days earlier. <laughs> but it gives us an yeah. opportunity to promote it during yeah, Canada Day. Absolutely. And yeah. Yeah. All of that kind of stuff, right? True. So. Yeah. If we uh, if we have a date now. Uh, then we can promote it on Canada Day, mm -hmm. um, and then um... so we should probably look like this is actually one of those things that uh, we should probably try and get some sort of a flyer made up. Make sure that Lisa's getting good attention through it. Is like I mean, this is a huge donation to the to the town, yeah. right? So yeah. uh, like we probably just want to promote it really well. Uh, making sure that yeah. you know, full full page in their next flyer um, and their next, mm -hmm. you know. Um, do we charge an entry fee and then the proceeds go to or just idea. make it free? I would suggest a donation. Yeah. A donation. Donation. A donation because I would hate for someone not to come because, because. They, they have to pay. Them. Yeah. Yeah. I like the donation idea. She's yeah. my girl. I agree. When are you coming back to Bonfield? I'm here. I'm across the road. I'm home. I got home at oh, 5 or 6. <laughs> but I haven't had a chance to shower uh, yet, so I'm on the video. <laughs> so when you have a minute, if you could stop in with a list, uh, if you could get a list of uh, available movies that we could do that night. Any. Any movie. You, Any you movie. All right, done. Top Gun Maverick, then. <laughs> yeah, okay. see, not everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to see that one. I that would be a little season's over, so I can finally go see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the I guess what we can do is each member put in a preference, and we can see. I think we um, need to ask some kids, people that are like, you know, like what's cool and like the kids with world. with. With your yeah. license, do we have access to the newly the newer releases? Mm -hmm. uh, we gotta pay a lot of money for that. Okay. 
Like if it's out on video, then you only have to pay a small licensing fee. Licensing fee if yeah. we want something like that would play at the movie theater or at the drive-in, that's why they charge twenty bucks a head. It's because it's you know four to five thousand yeah. dollars for the movie, which I think everybody can have a great time without yeah. having to pay. I agree. That yeah, kind that's of, something that kind of dollars. Like there's cartoons out there now that even the, even the adults oh, yeah. find hilarious. Right? Well, for sure, and I mean you can make it into like pajama night too for the kids. Everybody come in their the kids come in their pajamas and do like that. some type of pajama parade. And I don't know, they're yeah, the kids Somebody are limited. If as long as they have some idea of what they're doing, they always have fun. Yeah, well, for sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And it's going to be great. fun for everybody. I think it will be. Yeah. It'll be awesome. I can't wait to go. Yeah, I think it's going to be incredible. Okay, so you. <laughs> <laughs> we should make and... it a pajama party. That'd be yeah. super oh, fun. Oh, yes. yeah. Everybody come in their pajamas. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. Although everybody wears pajamas all day long now, anyways. That's but... true. <laughs> and then we can decide which organization would, would get the, the donation. Yes. Sounds, yeah. sounds great. That is awesome. I'm always Lisa. partial to anything that supports kids or food banks and, and people in need. Uh, I'm partial to those. Um, mm -hmm. I know we've done a lot of different things for the, the local food bank. And we have mm -hmm. some other things planned this year as well for the food bank. So um, food, awesome. is, food is great. And why don't we actually see if we can get the firefighters involved to actually collect the food um yeah if everybody was to bring a canned good or something for the doing yeah, yeah. for admission food, yeah uh, admission for donation. Bring, uh, yeah. yeah yeah sounds good yeah absolutely that'd be great yeah okay so you and i should meet up when you have uh some spare time so that we can work all of the details out for sure okay now, that week of august too i i probably can get um corn too, so um, we can oh, have some wow. corn available. <laughs> this, this is getting we bigger might, and we bigger. Might as well have supper. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Dinner and a movie. Thinking music. Yeah, I know yep. my, our really good family friends, Chapel Farms. Uh, um, every year since I've been up here, I know they've donated. Um, I don't know how many. Like I think fifty dozen corn or something um, to the food bank and stuff. So. Mm hmm. We can, get some, we can get some of that and, and um, get some out there to the kids. Unless okay. there's somebody up here that I'd be stepping on toes with with the corn. I, I, no. I've only I can guarantee you, though, the parents are going to curse the butter and the crap. <laughs> yeah. 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 So going to have the, corn and then popcorn. Corn and then popcorn. Yeah. And butter on that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So oh, I will I'll get a hold of you, Andre, in the next couple of days. And okay. See you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. And then we can work out all, all the details that's and awesome. start working on a promotion and everything. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you so much, Lisa. That is yes, so yes, great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go play with my dog now, okay? <laughs> okay. okay. Have a good night, Lisa. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Bye. Great. God, I'm so excited. Yeah, it's really cool. Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bunch of, bunch of, bunch of hunters in the bond too. Maybe not Bambi. Um, why is there a home screen? <laughs> <laughs> What's going to If we actually do dinner in a movie, corn on the cob. Yeah. Um, she has a canteen. She has a canteen. So yeah. those it's who don't free, like. So... so people can spend a few bucks with the canteen if they wanted. Yeah, and those yeah, yeah. who want corn can have corn and uh, have the businesses um, promote themselves, set up tents and everything. And so you do your trade show and you do uh, dinner and a movie. Are we watering down the trade show too much? I actually really like the idea of the trade show at the hall. At the hall. Mm -hmm. I think okay. that could turn into something. Like, I don't want it to be lost. No. Like, I, the first couple of years, it probably won't get more than a dozen vendors. But... If it grows to the point mm -hmm. where it needs to be at the park, then fantastic. It's also lots of those vendors are weather. Yeah. yeah. Also, because she has her 
Yeah, for uh, sure. Coming up to the uh, flea market. Well, that's different, though. Yeah. This year, though, on their schedule, it's not here this year. It's at Burles Well, Creek. there's one there. And oh, yeah, there's another one here, I think, in September. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, I wonder yeah, if the I agree. trade show might be better at the Christmas craft event. I wonder oh, if there's room. Idea. No. The no, uh, yeah. Christmas Bazaar? Yeah. It's uh, full. No. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. I turn down people every yeah. year. And you mm -hmm. usually get, uh, yeah. No, it's full in there. Yeah. There is no way that they can, we can not put that big. a business I mean, trade show no. in there. You look at Halloween, how but, much room at yeah. you know, each station. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's certainly something that we can look at uh, maybe in the fall and then get it early in the spring, you know? So do dinner and a movie and then postpone the trade show to the fall? Yeah, September. Gives us time to figure out you good time to figure out the fly. And <laughs> <laughs> not the flyer, no. Yeah. Do it yeah. that way instead? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Just concentrate on something instead of all this yeah. other stuff. Yeah, going if we try and water it down too much, I think we won't do anything really well. I'd rather do the movie and yeah, and that and corn. If there's if corn is a no brainer, then great. Mm. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said she can get. I mean, corn. We could get a few dozen, like 40, 50 dozen. She said she can get fifty dozen usually. But yeah. Mm. So I think if. Uh, and the nice part about the movie is it's also kind of weather resistant because people can be in cars. Yes. Right. So even if it's raining, you know, hopefully that there's a, a section where people can sit outside and they can bring lawn chairs if they want. And then cars can be staggered behind. But like that's. A... And this could be a segue to having movie in the park, uh, May, June, July, you know, once a month. Once a it. month. If we see that the, um, you know, it's very popular. Yeah. Mm hmm. And hopefully we'd help her run it once really well. And then this could be an event that she could just take yeah. over, right? Sure. Uh, yeah. Another way of getting uh, everybody together too. Although I do love the fact that it's staying free. And I think if we, if we want to stay free, we should probably stay involved. Because yeah. I mean, she's a business, right? Like to be fair, mm -hmm. us putting some support behind it. I mean, it's just a... Um, advertising yeah. mm -hmm. word of mouth and and some volunteer will help bring some volunteers together because she shouldn't have to start paying staff to no to do this so rusty i hope you're good with the uh, cooking corn of god <laughs> <laughs> not very hard to do that no, no. Hard to screw that up, eh? just need a big pot and some some boiling water yeah propane yeah <laughs> fire okay so august 13th dinner in the cooler. movie in the cooler there's you ever do that yeah. yeah. Coolers. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. That works. Okay. Awesome. Okay. It was that weekend. <laughs> Another one. Great. Number eight corresponds. Do we have any? Uh, no. Nope. Not this meeting. Information. Number nine. Nope. Ten next meeting. We, yeah, we don't usually do meetings July and because, August, but yeah. because we're doing the dinner and a movie and whatever, do you want to continue with I the think July? So, yeah. We okay. should have something, yeah. Well, and I'm even, even if we want to call it a subcommittee meeting, but yeah. for Canada a Day, like we can pull it together another meeting if it's helpful and then really help sort out the volunteers and who's doing what. Mm -hmm. So just let us know when and where you need us. And okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't even have to be a formal committee meeting. It'd just be subcommittee. And yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Okay, and then go with July fourth as our next meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Or do yeah, you want it you the could... week after? Um. Right. What's we got going? I don't know both of them. <laughs> July fourth is a Monday. Mm hmm. Or do right. you want it the following week? The eleventh. I think the eleventh still gives lots of time. To... Yeah. I think there's an initial kind of push to get the movie stuff organized. Like we got to pick movies and we got to mm -hmm. get the advertising out, but then it goes quiet for a bit. And yeah. then we just kind of pull together the organization. Yeah, whatever. The 11th flame. Yeah. 11th yeah. Flame. Okay. For now, I think I'll have to check my schedule there, but it seems to be okay. Okay. So I'll work with Lisa uh, within the next couple of days and. Uh, do a lot of correspondence by email to keep everybody updated. Yeah, I'm okay with whatever you guys for movie. I don't 
doesn't matter to me. Yeah. Kids or whatever. I mean, there's so many funny <laughs> I wouldn't even know things that are that, like I've just I've seen like they're kind of geared for adults too. Like kids love them, but there's some humor yeah. in there that the adults like as well. So for we'll sure. see. We'll see what's coming. What just recently came out on DVD or something, and uh, right. well, she must have that list. Like, yeah, she probably soul, does. Whatever, yeah. and she could say, okay, what do you guys want? Here's a list. There's fifty pick, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I would think. Okay. She's got the connection. Right, so. So yeah, she awesome. does. Plus the screen, the stage, you know, like, yeah. I yeah, mean, she's donating quite a lot. I'm just trying to wonder where the cars are parked because I see where her stage is. And then she's got her, the other buildings over room. here. Yeah, I'm going after Canada. It's, uh, the second. Yeah, I don't know how we do the cars. Right unless the cars yeah. are further on a side. And she, when does the, uh, I'm not sure. I find well, I know where to go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how she would do that. But she probably. Must they park on the side? She's probably done it before. Yeah, well, I'm... okay. She, she knows it's her venue. Awesome. Yeah. And no charge. I'm and really we can't... excited about this that. This is a great deal for sure. Yeah. Something new. Yeah. And then, like you said, we see the success of it, and then um, you know, Nick, so either do there. another one later in the fall or next year do more than one. See if the demand is there, and if we see that. Every month is too much, then yeah, yeah, for sure. Good, okay. All right, there, that way. <laughs> Don't forget to get your red t-shirts for uh Canada oh, Day. Yeah, right. yeah, I was gonna you say how'd that go? Yes, I do. Right, moved by Lee, second by Jason at the Recreation Fitness Committee meeting. We adjourned at six fifty. Fifty. All in favor? Carried. How did it go with the sales on I sold 40 t-shirts? Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Really mm -hmm. good. I'll have to see if my other one still fits. <laughs> <laughs> A COVID diet. Pre COVID one. Okay. Yeah. So. What sizes do you have? We got all, all sizes. sizes. We got okay. your size. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Super. I, um, we should talk about how to better use our hall, eh? Like, yeah. Because I like the idea of something like a, almost a little league of something in there. And whether it's geared to kids or, quite frankly, if we can actually get it, something going like a. I think of something stupid like what's an indoor activity, but like you know the called cornhole or mm -hmm. you know the bag toss, you know the oh, bag yeah, toss. Yeah. Get a little something of that going on uh, uh, Thursday nights, and you know what? Are still super popular. I don't. Know. What's and that? What's super popular? Darts. Darts. Yeah. Like, dart leagues in North Bay. Holly's parents moved up here, so they were fighting to get in the leagues and other oh, yeah. leagues. Wow. Really? Like one of them has like sixty-five people. We no, have right. dart boards at the Lions Club. Yeah. How yeah. much is it like for the hall? Like, how does it work? Like, doing things like that? Because um, I'm, I, I'm like, I was sure looking into they're... it for the yoga 